Dear friends, I am extremely happy and glad to share with each one of you that the Honorable Supreme Court has admitted our UGC petition today and has issued notice to respondents UGC and Government of India. The Honorable Supreme Court has directed them to file their reply to our petition within three days and our petition has been fixed up on 31st of July, that is the coming Friday, for final arguments. Initially, the Honorable Supreme Court was fixing it up on 10th of August for final arguments, but I have requested the Honorable Court that considering the worsening situation of COVID-19 crisis in India, considering that in last 24 hours, 50,000 cases of COVID-19 have been added in India, uh, it's my request to either stay the exams which are already taking place or which are go uh, going to take place soon or decide the matter very, very urgently. Uh, Honorable Supreme Court has accepted my request and hence preponed the date from 10th August to 31st July. Now the matter will be heard on 31st July. By that time, the reply of respondents will be received. We will submit our rejoinders and the final hearing will take place on 31st of July. Today, not a detailed hearing uh, has taken place because uh, Honorable Supreme Court has admitted our case at the outset uh, without hearing us in detail. Honorable Supreme Court has directed the respondents UGC at the outset to submit their reply. So I'm really, really thankful and grateful to Honorable Supreme Court for the same. I'm also grateful to Honorable Court uh, for a reason that last week a similar petition filed by NSUI seeking cancellation of these examinations, that petition was dismissed by Honorable Supreme Court. But Honorable Supreme Court has understood the kind of seriousness which we have raised in our these petitions and hence notice has been issued in our peti petition today. It's a great victory for all the students across India and I'm thankful to each one of you for supporting us. On 31st July, our 31 petitioners and all the students who are supporting them will definitely get justice.